In this video, we compare four of the most popular generative AI platforms, ChatGPT, Bard, Claude, and Perplexity. So let's get started. As a side note, all of the links to the resources presented in this video can be found in the description below. Also, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to share with you which platform is the best overall. With that out of the way, let's begin with the first platform. ChatGPT took the world by storm in late 2022 as the flagship product for AI research company OpenAI. It quickly amazed people with its human-like conversational abilities, powered by a generative pre-trained transformer, GPT, architecture. To begin with, let's discuss ChatGPT in greater depth by comparing the model size of each AI model. But first, let's explain what model size means. Model size refers to the size of the container which contains the model. In deep learning, it can be measured by width and depth of the network. In other words, model size is a simple explanation for the quantity of hidden layers and the total number of neurons in all hidden layers. And calculating the amount of parameters for each AI model is beyond the scope of this video. If you're interested in calculating parameters, I'll leave a link in the description below to an example that explains the process. The first AI model for ChatGPT, GPT 3.5 Turbo, is included in the free plan and represents an upgraded version of GPT 3.5 with a total of 154 billion parameters. Whereas ChatGPT Plus enables access to GPT 3.5 Turbo in addition to GPT 4, GPT 4V, and DAL E3. More specifically, GPT 4 boasts a staggering 1.5 trillion parameters, which is roughly 10 times the size as GPT 3.5 Turbo. This significant size difference allows ChatGPT to utilize GPT-4 for enhanced context-aware interactions that result in more seamless and sophisticated conversations. Next, GPT-4V expands ChatGPT beyond text-based chat by allowing users to interact with ChatGPT through text, audio, and images. GPT-4V is essentially GPT-4 with additional vision modules, so this model also has 1.5 trillion parameters. Lastly, DALI 3 is a model that generates realistic images from text prompts. The size of this model is not publicly disclosed, but considering it's constructed using DALI 2 with enhancements in caption fidelity and image quality, so it's logical to assume DALI 3 is the same size as DALI 2. Therefore, the DALI 3 model contains 3.5 billion parameters. Due to recent copyright lawsuits involving generative AI, Data size and training data is purposely left out of this video because tech companies are unlikely to publicly disclose this type of information going forward. Next, let's discuss the token limit for each of the four ChatGPT models. But first, let's elaborate on the meaning of token limits. A token can be thought of as a unit of text. One token can be as short as one character or as long as one word in English. Let's illustrate this with an example. The user's input equates to 12 tokens. So in terms of token limit, this means the length of the user's input combined with the length of the AI model's response equals the total number of tokens per exchange. In other words, the max token limit means the total amount of characters each AI model can process and generate a response for. It's also important to note that the token limit resets after each response. Now that we have a better understanding of token limits, let's revisit the previous token example. Considering the user's input is 12 tokens and the GPT 3.5 Turbo model has a 4096 token limit. Performing simple math, ChatGPT has the ability to generate a 4084 token length response, but the model usually only uses enough tokens to adequately provide a response. Values for the remaining ChatGPT models include GPT-4 with an 8,192 token limit. For GPT-4V, OpenAI doesn't directly mention the token value. However, we can assume it's essentially GPT-4, so the token values must be the same. On a similar note, 
since DALI 3 uses GPT-4 to interface with the user in natural language and will then synthesize the prompts that are sent directly to DALI 3. It's logical to assume that the DALI 3's token limit is the same as GPT-4. Although OpenAI's website doesn't clearly state this information, it does document a 4,000 character limit for the DALI 3 API, considering one token is roughly equivalent to four characters in English. This equates to a 1,000 token limit for the API version, which may be the same or different from ChatGPT's DALI 3. So let's suppose DALI 3 has a token limit range from 1,000 to 8,192. Equally important, explaining OpenAI's APIs is beyond the scope of this video. To keep things simple, here are the APIs for each of the ChatGPT models. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, I've thoroughly discussed OpenAI's APIs in one of my previous videos, linked in the description below. Additionally, you can find the ChatGPT API sign-up link in the description below. To expand on the previously mentioned ChatGPT plans, there are two plans currently available. The free version uses GPT 3.5 Turbo, receives regular model updates, and is cross-platform meaning it's available by either visiting OpenAI's website, downloading the app from the Apple Store, or from the Google Play Store. Whereas for only $20 per month, ChatGPT Plus includes everything from the free plan. Not to mention, what makes ChatGPT Plus advantageous from other platforms is that for the same price as their competitors, users are also granted access to GPT-4, GPT-4V, DALI-3, custom GPTs, where users can build and train GPT models on specialized topics and knowledge bases. Integrated browsing enables ChatGPT to fact-check its own knowledge and look up information online to provide users with the most accurate and up-to-date responses. A plugin store allows users to customize ChatGPT with over 900 plugins. Users can browse the store and add trusted plugins to enhance their chatbot experience. Developers can also publish plugins to give ChatGPT additional capabilities, like interacting with external APIs, services, and databases. Code interpreter to write and run Python code in a sandboxed execution environment. Lastly, the newly released GPT Store, an online store similar to mobile app stores where users can download specialized GPTs tailored to specific industries, tasks, and applications. Despite ChatGPT's industry-leading features, there are several disadvantages worth mentioning. For instance, the free plan doesn't include integrated browsing, so ChatGPT occasionally responds with plausible-sounding information that's actually incorrect. Also, all ChatGPT models currently have a knowledge cutoff date of September 2021, which prevents their awareness of recent events. So this is something to be mindful about when using a chatbot without direct access to the internet. Another possible con, OpenAI's API pricing is potentially more expensive than other platforms because API usage is billed separately from their paid plus subscription. Also, the free version of ChatGPT only accepts input and responses in text format. So the ability to use an image or voice as input is currently only available to ChatGPT Plus subscribers. Lastly, as of January 5, 2024, ChatGPT Plus restricts users to 40 messages every three hours, which may be an inconvenience for some users, but OpenAI emphasizes for users to remain patient as they expect a massive demand and will scale up and optimize their systems over the coming months. This usage cap is for GPT-4, but may also apply to both GPT-4V and DALI-3, even though OpenAI doesn't clearly state the specifics. Despite this, users can continue using ChatGPT after reaching the limit by switching to the GPT-3.5 Turbo model, because this model doesn't have a message limit even for the free plan. Here's a chart displaying the previously mentioned categories and associated ChatGPT model specifications.
Since the chat GPT section turned out to be longer than anticipated, be sure to watch part two of this series to discover the details for the remaining generative AI platforms. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon so you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.